Murphy, and this particular video is uh, for the uh, second part of the magazine project for the 273 class and um, the UIX, UIUX, which is User Interface User Experience. Um, and basically, we've done the print version. Now we are laying out um, your magazine app in a digital format for a mobile device and so in a mobile app. So you are doing your magazine um, concept here. In the example, I'm using our newslab.org website that is new to the Meek School of Journalism that I've been uh, working on and collaborating with um, other colleagues. <clears throat> Um, starting up this website and so I just did a for the example um, I produced a mobile app for that website so here I've um, laid out my screens I've got it in preview mode here um, so I made several scrolling screens and then I am planning on so this would represent um, here your screen with the uh, basically your phone screen with the mobile app um, icon in place and what that looks like that's going to be used as your loading screen on your Envision High Fidelity prototype um, and then I started a home page and this home page here is kind of the features of the week um, similar to what you will do for your magazine issue for that uh, particular issue and so what I am doing here I'm going to make this New York Times linkable so if I click resources or click the image or click the title here um, then I will uh, go to the article itself and so this is all the home page but now this is the screens for the um, Article. So when you click on the article, you go to the article here. So I have placed the article here, and it's a several scrolling screens as well. And it's got a link actually within this. So say here is the main article, but there are some hyperlinks here to other things. So in this case, um, the story here. Um, was a uh, link to another story um, so I'm gonna make that a hotspot to link to this uh, story that was in that was related to the New York Times article so um, I'm gonna include that as well so I put that in there I put a advertisement or an image of an advertisement there just to have that because sometimes they are so if you need to simulate that you can um, and so now I'm ready to export my screens as JPEGs um, so that I can upload them for my high fidelity prototypes so I'm going to show you how to do that um, so now that all of this is taken care of um, I'm going to make sure I've got it saved so as you can see here in my tab I have um, I have my last name first, then UI UX, and so I've saved it as an InDesign document. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and package this because, um, and before I do that, I'm going to check I have no errors, um, so all my document is error free. Um, so I am going to go ahead and package this just and this is just so I have a package version of all my components here on my desktop so I am saving it and here I'm gonna make sure I'm consistent with my file names here so I'm gonna put more UI UX again and here it'll have folder written after it which is perfectly fine you can take the word folder off if you want um, or you can just leave it. I'm just going to leave it here um, and I am going to put this to my desktop and it's including print versions um, here we don't really need the interactivity on this version okay so now that I have it packaged I feel a lot better I have everything complete and together in one folder but I also want to now do some 
JPEGs for the prototype. So I'm going to go up here. I'm still in my original InDesign file here. I'm going to go to export and I am going to put these to my desktop just for the moment. Later I can just add these to my packaged folder um, but for right now I'm going to put them to my desktop so I can access them easily for the InVision prototype. So I'm going to say JPEG here. So we're going to save these screens as JPEGs. And right now it's looking up like the whole document is a JPEG, but it's not. It's going to allow us in the next screen to designate the pages. So I'm going to click Save. And when we go to the next screen, it's going to ask me the range. Um, I'm going to do iPhone 6 Plus here, all and all the pages. So what we're going to make sure that you have those clicked um, and selected so that it will uh, do each screen as a single JPEG. Um, so they will be each separated into image files. Um, they're going to give them um, the you know, highest low resolution that it can be for web. It's going to be RGB color. All of these settings are designed for the mobile device. So all you have to do is click export. And so I'm going to minimize my InDesign screen. It may take it just a moment. So now if you look at my desktop, you can see um, that it has all of my screens separated here. Now what I would like to do now is I may want to, um, you know, you want to remember what those screen names are. Uh, you can rename them for an InVision so that you know what screen is or you know is the next destination when you're selecting your hotspots. Um, but for now, um, that's a different video. So <clears throat> for now, this is the way to save them as JPEGs and do them to your desktop first. Once you've created your prototype, then you can select all of them and add them to your um, your prototype. Your photo, uh, I'm sorry, your package folder here um, that you've created so everything is together. Um, so that's how you save your file to JPEGs. Um, all right, so that'll be the first step before as you create your um, prototype. All right, so now you can watch the second video on how to do that. Um, so thanks for listening and good luck.